Today's chess game has often appeared in tactic puzzles and is considered by many as one of the best games Raymond Keane has ever played. If you do not know who Raymond Keane is, you will definitely have to see this game. It is that good. I only share the best games with my YouTube audience because I want you guys to learn the most from every game so that you can become a better chess player. This game takes place in Hastings, England in 1976 between Raymond Keane and Anthony Miles. Now the opening being played here is the Queen's Gambit declined semi to Rock's defense main line. And um, White is, uh, R Raymond Keane is playing as White and Anthony Miles is playing as Black. This position has been reached many times before. Keane's extra space and attacking chances compensate for his weak isolated pawn. The position is balanced and equal. Rook e1, knight f6. Now Anthony Miles plays knight f6, which is his first uh, slight mistake. Now that the knight is on f6, bishop out to g5 can be played. The knight was much better on d5 as it prevented Keane from being able to develop his bishop to a really good square. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, Raymond Keane would have to develop his bishop to a square like d2. Because e3, f4, g5, it could be captured. And if Raymond Keane wants to, you know, keep this bishop, um, instead of moving it out to e3 and then letting the knight take it, if Raymond Keane wants to keep this bishop for the attack on the king side, then he would have to play it to a move like d2, and then that's just, it's very passive. And not very good. But after, after, um, Miles makes a slight inaccuracy with knight out to f6, um, Raymond Keane is able to get his bishop out to a really, really good square. And this allows White to develop very quickly and gives White a slight advantage here. So, uh, Miles tries knight out to b4. It is logical. He is attacking Keane's bishop and plans on developing his bishop out here to b7. With a knight on b4, a bishop on b7 would be able to control a lot more space across the board. The downside is that Miles will have lost another tempo. His development is way too slow. I mean, he's made he's made way too many knight moves. And that allows White to get this huge attack going. And I do like bishop out to b1. It, it does preserve the bishop for the attack on the king side. And b6, knight e5. And also, there's now a question to this knight on b4. It's not doing anything over here. It's not attacking anything. It doesn't really seem to have a purpose. Now, of course, it could eventually get back out to d5, but it seems kind of silly. I mean, black already had a knight on d5 to begin with and moved it away, and so it's just way too many knight moves. Uh, bishop out to b7, Miles has uh, managed to complete development and find a good square for his bishop, and it looks like that he should be just fine. But then rook e3 is played, and suddenly, just when it seemed like Miles was doing okay, a huge attack appears out of nowhere, and Miles is caught unprepared. Miles now wishes that he could have back those extra knight moves to prepare a proper defense. And Miles here plays g6. g6 is basically forced to protect h7. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if Blackwood just simply to play uh, a normal looking development move, look out to c8. Simply bishop takes f6. Bishop takes back, bishop takes h7, and suddenly there's this huge attack on the king side, queen h5. And checkmate is threatened, um, rook out to e8 doesn't stop it, just simply queen takes f7. So the only way to stop the checkmate is bishop out to h4, and then simply to take with the queen. And this will cost black a lot of material. So therefore, g6, uh, must be played to stop this attack and block out the bishop. But then rook out to g3 and Miles now piles up on the weakness with as many pieces as possible. Well, Miles has basically forced black to push this pawn forward and weaken the king side just a little bit. And although it does look like that g6 is quite strong, white does have three pieces that can attack the pawn and open up the king side very quickly. 
and that proves to be decisive. Rook c8 is played, bishop h6 attacking the rook, rook e8, and then a3. Now a3 is kind of a puzzling move at first, but it's actually a really amazing move, and it takes away Miles' last defensive resource. So how is this knight on b4, which is very far away from the king's side, a defensive resource? Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So if white has simply played knight takes g6 right away, then he'll lose very quickly. Yeah, simply a queen out to b1 looking to play queen takes g6 and deliver checkmate. That's a very good idea. Uh, black does not have anything to defend g6. But black can simply play knight e4, interference move. And this is key. With the knight on b4, the bishop is able to defend uh, e4. If this knight were to move back to c6 or d5, then the bishop can no longer defend the knight on e4. And therefore, this block uh, blockade cannot happen. But after knight e4, simply knight takes e4, but then rook out to c2. And this interferes with the queen's defense of the knight and also interferes with the queen's uh, attack on g6. So after the knight moves back, simply queen takes d4, and we can see that Miles will have stopped white's attack, and will simply remain up by a piece here, and be completely winning. So therefore, uh, white does not want that to happen. White would be completely losing there. Instead of that, um, yeah, instead of that, simply a3 must be played to kick the knight back, and then white can sacrifice on g6, because knight e4 blockade is no longer supported by the bishop. Now, if we were to back up, and let's just say that black plays knight to a6 instead, in order to allow the knight to get out here, well, it doesn't quite work out that well. Yeah, simply knight takes, and the reason here is that after queen out to d3, Without the knight on, on b4, uh, the queen can get out to d3, and in addition to that, black does not have knight to b4 and rook out to c2 to block a queen on b1. So it doesn't work, because knight out to e4, white can simply take that, and then on the next move, uh, move the knight out somewhere and play check and deliver checkmate. Now bishop f6 could be tried, but then simply knight out to d6, and if the knight is captured, then this would lead to a quick checkmate. So bishop g7 is played, but queen takes g6, queen out to c7 to try and come across and defend. Then simply knight takes e8, and black's position collapses. White has a lot of material here, and could deliver checkmate depending on what black does. So that would be completely winning for white, a very good position. Therefore knight out to a6. Uh, doesn't uh, work here because the queen is able to get out to d3. Yeah, there's no knight b4 or rook to c2 to block a queen on b1. After knight c6 in the actual game, we see a knight takes g6 and white just goes all out. Now, here if black were to play move like queen takes d4 and refuse to take the knight, then this would be a double check followed by checkmate. So therefore, the, not, the knight really has to be captured. Otherwise, it's checkmate. Bishop takes g6, and once again, if black were to try and refuse to take the, the piece, then white would get a lot of material, or maybe checkmate, depending on what happens. All right, so bishop out to f8, just to try and stop bishop to g7, which could lead to checkmate. But then bishop g5 pins the knight to the queen. Knight takes d4 and then knight to d5, and this would interfere with the queen's defense of the knight. And here, if bishop takes uh, on d5, simply queen takes d4, and now white is starting to take this and win the queen, maybe deliver a checkmate. So if king to g7 is played to defend that, bishop takes f6 is able to win the queen because of a double check. And if simply bishop out to g7, then rook to h3, and a checkmate is going to soon follow. Yeah, if queen takes f6, then queen takes, followed by checkmate. And instead of queen takes f8, then rook takes, followed by checkmate. So that is pretty amazing. 
Therefore, bishop out to g7 doesn't work, and if bishop out to e7 is tried, then simply queen h4, king g7, and once again, there's a double check on the board, king takes f7, rook check, and checkmate. So that is pretty awesome. Therefore, after knight takes e4, knight to d5, bishop takes d5 doesn't work. What about simply queen takes d5 to allow the queen to defend the knight? Well, allow this queen to defend the knight. Okay, so then simply bishop takes f6 because the queen is not able to defend both this knight and that knight at the same time. Therefore, after queen takes, bishop takes his check, and then there is actually a forced check mate here. You got the king it has to walk up the board, and then bishop f7 delivers checkmate. So that is pretty awesome. Yeah, that is that is really cool. So here, it's basically going to be checkmate anyway, no matter what black does. Alrighty, so instead of king h8 trying to avoid taking the bishop and moving the king out of the way, what about just f takes g6? Well, then we have this quiet move queen out to b1. And there's really nothing that black can do. Black is going to lose at least a lot of material. Uh, knight to e5 is tried, you know, just to have the knight come across and defend this pawn. Uh, then this other knight jumps in to try and blockade. Knight takes e4. And now, king to h7 was tried, and that didn't work out too well. The best move here for black is actually rook to c1 check. And the idea is simply to force, uh, force the queen away from the attack on g6. Uh, queen takes has to be played. If uh, bishop takes, then it is suddenly white who gets checkmated. And that would not be good, so queen has to take. And that allows black to divert white's queen just for one move to avoid the checkmate. But in the actual game, king h7 is tried. Then we have knight f6 check, followed by a quick checkmate. Wow, a really beautiful game by Raymond King. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned something from this video, and put any comments or suggestions on YouTube.